Hi and uh, welcome to this uh, unfocused uh, v YouTube video. Let's see if we can... So what you heard in the beginning there is a track I'm currently working on. It started off with me just having uh, some fun with the MOG and then it evolved into this kind of fusion between Psytrance and uh, Trance uh, track. I thought we could take a look at uh, the track as we have done previously and uh, see what I have done and uh, yeah, just uh, talk a little bit about uh, gear and uh, yeah, my thoughts uh, about that as well. Uh, let's uh, switch to the uh, another view here so we can... Oops! So here we are in the arrangement view in Ableton Live and uh, you can see where uh, the song starts. Uh, it starts with this MOG uh, audio file and then uh, it evolves into uh, a kind of Psytrance uh, track here in the beginning and then it uh, goes over to uh, Trance and then back to kind of Psytrance again. But uh, the track started with uh, me just uh, playing uh, with uh, the MOG and uh, I just did like this. And I adjusted the cutoff. Multi drive. Added distortion. And, uh, and modulations and LFOs as well. And uh, when I was kind of, I thought I, I was able to make a sound I liked, I just created a simple uh, MIDI or some simple MIDI clips here. And I recorded it into something like sounds like this. But uh, I got an SMS now and uh, I have to check something uh, first. So I'll be right back. Okay, back again. So here is uh, how it sounds like. As for automation, I could uh, draw the automation in using uh, CC values and uh, the external uh, instrument here. But uh, for this track, I uh, recorded the automation while I recorded the audio file into Ableton Live. So I, I adjusted the knobs on the synth in real time when doing so. Sometimes uh, I like to do it when I'm kind of in the mood uh, for uh, or just uh, feeling it uh, and some other times when I know I just have to have this kind of uh, surgical precise slope I just draw it in. But for this I kind of wanted the, wanted the feel of, uh, of you know human touch so, um, so that's why I, uh, I didn't record automation in Ableton Live this time. In addition, I took the audio file and reversed it. I think it's reversed, just to give it some more, some other, some interesting uh, transitions. So while this sounds pretty good uh, on its own, uh, if you add some more uh, kick and uh, bass and stuff like that, it sounds sounds better. And as you hear here, you don't hear the kick right now, it's because I automate the kick, uh, or I don't automate the kick, I automate the kick's EQ. So I'm having some high passes and low pass going on to, yeah, just kind of give it some, some interest here. If we begin here, you can hear. So 
so another thing I did with uh, this track uh, for a kick and a hi-hat and uh, everything like this I have a track called someone there which I feel that the kick and uh, and percussion sounds pretty good so I literally just selected kick and went down to I think it was uh, loop or just dragged it into this track and there we go uh, so this is a great way of uh, reusing something you have already done to save time and uh, maybe you just have to do some small adjustments and it uh, sounds uh, good uh, I did the same with the bass here uh, at least the bass group and uh, I added the bass effects later on uh, uh, the effects uh, let's see these ones so so those effects are just uh, some serum synths with just default patches, really. And the funny thing uh, in uh, in the bottom here is uh, some uh, stuff I have made uh, earlier. So uh, it's uh, it's some audio file I have recorded uh, a while ago, and uh, it's running through something called uh, I Wish. It's a plugin from uh, Polyverse. Uh, Infected Mushroom used it a lot. And then I use uh, the MIDI data for the MOG to control I wish. So it kind of plays back my audio file yeah, like this uh, melody here. Uh, so it sounds like this. Let's add some bass. Yeah, so you get that Psytrance uh, sound, and uh, just for fun, it sounds like this, the original file. Uh, I'm not going to bother you for a long time here, but... Yeah. So you can just have some fun with your own voice. Um, then uh, it uh, the Mog, or at least the Mog audio here, fades out, and... Uh, uh, trans arpeggio synths are going on here. We have three of those, and uh, so two are uh, Diva, which are panned a little bit, and then Massive X. So um, we have one Diva sounding like uh, this. So it's kind of sits there in the low end, and then we have another Diva sounds like this. So that's more in the high end, so so the sounds like this. And then we have the reverb, uh, big, uh, you know, big uh, trance sound. It's uh, massive, actually. So in massive, I just took I'm not sure which uh, preset I used because I did some just some small adjustments to it. It's really nothing, nothing special. But uh, yeah, it's massive with high pass, some OT multiband, just 35% and sidechain. So from side trance, then it goes into trance and sounds like this. Yeah, so you have this melody playing and then uh, it goes back into this kind of Psytrance uh, part.
so yeah there you have it that's basically the entire track it's uh it's not finished yet but uh it's uh th the basis of it it's it's done i think i'm going to make some more make some more adjustments here in the beginning make it more interesting and maybe do some changes uh, at the end here and also maybe probably change the melody up here a bit uh, a little to make it more interesting but uh yeah overall the track is uh, kind of finished and it it really took it really didn't take that long time uh, this time it took about i think it's uh, let's say let's say five or six uh effective hours and then this is uh done but the thing is uh, this track started out from this uh uh, mog so it started with me just doing doing this yeah just playing wrong also so it started with me just playing with the gear i have and uh and uh it's uh this is the end result so if you like things like this and if you like videos like this uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button and also tap that bell to get notified about new videos uh, if you do that google will uh, kind of give my videos more relevance in the search results and that's always uh, fun for me at least so this is the result of just having some fun with the gear around here I've had the MOG for a few years now, but it's uh, so it's not new, but I still feel I have a lot to learn from it. Uh, just playing with it and trying to create sounds, it sparks ideas for at least for me, and uh, in the end, uh, maybe a complete production as you saw today. So I, I often think about that when I want to buy new gear, such as the Novation Peak or any other synth out there. Uh, I have a day job, wife, kids, and to balance everything is already difficult. So if I buy a new gear, I need to invest even more time to learn it. And uh, so if I buy anything, it has to be of good use. If this was my day job, uh, the th it would be different, of course. But uh, as it is now, I think I have to I have to identify the gear I really need and uh, try to be as uh, minimal as possible. Um, so the MOG, uh, as you saw here today, it, it filled a gap in my music and that was more about, I wanted the, that low end and of course that classic MOG uh, sound when I bought it. So uh, yeah, I hope you liked this video and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Goodbye.